As some of you know, this week I've been on a course and today was exam day. Woo! I was stressed out. I don't do very well in exams. I can't remember things, my mind goes blank. And yeah, I was a bit worried. But now I'm buzzing because I've just had the email. I have passed and I am now certified to carry ADR. Yeah! <laughs> so I am buzzing, I passed, I've just got to go and get all my insurance and everything else sorted now. Uh, I've spoken to my broker and they're supposed to be getting me a quote, but that was like a, over a week ago and they've not got back to me yet. So I need to chase them up, get the quote, get insured and let's move some dangerous goods. Why not, eh? Just another thing we can do and uh, buzzing. <laughs> So, you may notice I'm actually out in the van. So the plan for today was, I was gonna do my exams, go home and chill out. And I was supposed to be working tomorrow and Sunday. Tomorrow should have got binned. And then, on my way home from my exams, I got a phone call. They needed site clearance in Abbasock immediately. Well, that's not the easiest thing to organize because there's not no drivers around there. I look on the CX, there was no one within miles that could do it in the right van size who could do a site clearance, who had the waste license. So, I had to tell him, I can't get it covered. He went, you're not going to do it yourself? I went, yes, I can. But I'm three and a half hours away because of traffic and stuff and it's Friday. He went, right, no worries, I'll get them to leave everything outside. Go and do it yourself. So, it's now 20 past two and I'm an hour and a half away from this collection in Abbasock. But the good thing is, it's 22 degrees. Yeah, I'm driving into North Wales, which I absolutely love. It is beautiful and scenic. Yes, the A55 is a brilliant and it does get quite a bit of traffic, especially on a Friday afternoon, with people going on holiday for the weekend. But there's a couple of little tunnels, which I like going through. And then it's just, Lovely, I love Wales. Uh, if me and Leanne could, we'd probably move to North Wales. Uh, but hey, we live in Lee. <laughs> I don't know, that's where our lives are. Maybe if kids get older and move out, we'll move to North Wales. Right, yeah, so let's go and do this site clearance. We're gonna have to do it on my own, there's gonna be no one else there. And then uh, let's get back and drop it off in the container because I've got another site clearance on Sunday, so I need the van empty. Woo! Well, when I pulled onto this road, it said no wide vehicles. <laughs> and the looting is a bit of a wide vehicle, but I've just gone over a cattle grid and I literally just made it through either side. This is my view in a minute. Climbing up the side of a bloody mountain. There is other people up here, so at least I can shout someone if I get stuck. This car grid's a bit, a bit wider. That was better. Oh, look at that. What a view. Beautiful. Apparently, there's a tower up here somewhere in the next 0.6 miles, but I cannot see one for the life of me. I'm hoping it is, I'm in the right place because, uh, yeah. Oh my god, no, there's a tower up there. It, oh, oh, oh. I think I've just seen where I've got to go. Uh, it's not going to be nice. Now, I really wish that was the tower, but it's not. That is. And have you seen the road to it? <laughs> God's sake, man. Look at this. It's a... It's a 4 before track, let's be honest. I've got to try and get a Luton all the way up there. Well, apparently I have authorisation to drive through this field which says no unauthorised vehicles because it's a national trust. But, hey-ho, 
they've agreed that if I get stuck, they'll pay for my recovery. If I break my fan, that's on me though, innit? So, let's see how stupid I am. See if I can get up the side of this bloody mountain. You can't even see the tower now, because it's in the middle of a cloud. Jesus, what am I doing? Many unbearable hours later. We're on the top of a body mountain. Don't know if you can see, but that is the sea. It's now 25 past five. So I've been here for just shy of an hour and a half. The van is fully loaded, shall we say. Um, we're rubbish and I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy one bit. So there's like a bit of rules and regulations we need to follow. Obviously I'm here to collect the waste from the site. I'm here to collect the rubbish that's been produced by the site. So that's any decom kit, any cardboard that's been delivered, any pallets and stuff like that. And the riggers, obviously they're going to have to eat and drink up here. And they're supposed to black bag and take away their own stuff. There was food rubbish everywhere mixed in with my rubbish. There was rotten, mouldy pizzas. There was gone off milk. And then worst of all, there was a bag of human waste. Who? Cool. Also, I've had to just leave um, some orange barriers. I didn't have enough room on the van. I didn't really want to take them. And so I've had to shove them back under the fence so um, so they're on the site and not in the national park. There is some in the national park but I'm not moving them because they've dug a hole and they're covering a hole so I don't want to move them. Right so now we're fully loaded, the van's a bit heavier, the van's a bit lower and we've got to go down this track so wish me luck and uh, then I've got to figure out what I'm doing with all this rubbish because I need an empty van for Sunday. Brilliant. job because I get to see some absolutely beautiful sights like that. That is amazing. I see the sea for miles all the way around me. You can see the sea, well apart from that side now to the bloody brick wall but over there that's the sea, over there, back there. That is just, most people don't get to see these sights because you can't drive up this road. This isn't a road. You can't drive up this track every day. You can only drive up this track when you've got permission. And I've got permission to be on this track to get to that tower. I'm in a national park. People come here for hikes and for walks. I get to drive through it. It's, it's awesome. It is awesome. And this bit's a bit sketchy, so bye-bye. Well, I've just stopped at Land No Junction. It's, uh, it's been a long day, I'm starting to feel it. Um, I got up early to a bit of revision this morning for my exams. Done my exams, passed, very happy. And then, uh, yeah, I didn't expect to have to drive up a mountain and deal with a load of crap. But hey ho, so I get paid for. So I'm just gonna grab a drink, something to snack on for the uh, hour and a half I've got left before I get home. 
and just have a 15 minute break and chill out because I'm feeling pretty tired. So I'll leave you there. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the almost 1700 people that have subscribed. If you do like the videos, please do subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.